Hello, so me and Chris are going to Pride. Say hello, Chris. Konnichiwa. Look how cool we look! Look, look at how cool he looks. Look how cool we look. We've decided we are going to be the best bitches there. <laughs> also raining though. It's a bit shit, but we've got our brolly, then we're good to go. Change of our outfits. We're still covered in glitter. Had a quick outfit change and look, 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 look. I look like a road from X Men. You do look like road from X Men. Yeah, because it's like. She loves a camera. Yeah, yeah. David Cage. How many gays does it take to open a bottle of beer? Hey, so we are now two days after Pride. Two days, three days, three days. It's Wednesday. Um, Monday, I pretty much. Pretty much died on the couch, ate a lot of crisps, didn't really do much else. Uh, yesterday I was working and today I have a few things I have to go and do, go to chemist, stuff like that. NARS are having a tour for their new orgasm products and generally I don't go to anything that's like an event. First of all because I don't get invited to stuff like that because I'm not an actual blog vlog person. But secondly because sometimes I feel like you go and it's a bit like just trying to sell you stuff or just uh, a bit like you're queuing up for ages and I'm like 31 and I'm not like a fan or anything like that but, but the Anna edit, Anna from the Anna edit is going to be there and I just think she is fantastic. I think she's so funny. I think her style is fantastic. I love everything she does with regards to her blog, regards to her videos. I just think she's such an easy watchable person and she is going to be there this evening. So I thought, bugger it, like I'm going to go along <laughs> like a right loser. But I'm going to go along, hopefully get to meet her because I just think she's just brand new. It is actually a very pleasant day today, quite sunny, not like roasting but very pleasant. So I've got on my tank top jeans and I figured I could hide my pump under half of my shirt. So I'm kind of looking samey summery and I've got on some pink tones today because the orgasm blush is a kind of pinky, goldy, shimmery thing going on. I actually have the Erdem blush on in Loves Me, which is really pink, but I've put it on with 
as light a hand as I could, so that's that. But anyway, we'll get on our way. and you've got NARS water. Hello, so as if by the power of magic it is now Sunday. I don't really know how that happened. Uh, basically the week started with Pride. I then went on Wednesday to the NARS orgasm tour in Argyle Street. It was good, lovely, fantastic. I bought a few bits there. During that day as well when I was out and about uh, I bought, picked up a few other things. So just now this bit is just going to be a very quick haul to close off the vlog this week. Before I get started, I'm going to stand up and show you these jeans I got. I got these jeans from Monkey and they were £8. You know that way when you go into town and you have no intention of buying a single thing when you go into town and then everywhere has a sale on and everywhere has a really good sale on and you're like, bugger. So I ended up buying jeans, I ended up buying towels for the bathroom, like just random stuff. I'm not going to show you them. Uh, and I also got some nice things from NARS and a few other beauty skin bits, so I'll go through them. So these are the jeans from Monkey. They are the ones that kind of crop in the ankle. Um, I got a size 30, which I think is a UK 14. And I'm just wearing it with a little cami top. And I think they're really nice. Eight pounds, eight pounds for a pair of jeans. I don't really think you can go wrong, eight pounds for a pair of jeans. That's so good. I want to say the style is tataki, katakaki, tatai, taitaki, I don't know. It's something like that anyway. Uh, they do still have them as far as I know, it just happened that these ones end up being eight pounds. Eight pounds for a pair of jeans. God, you can't even, don't even think you can get that good in Primark and they're really good quality. Uh, they don't feel like they're gonna just wear out or anything. They're those kind of jeans that actually you kind of enjoy washing them because after a few days you're like, oh this is nice, they're comfy now and you shouldn't really wash jeans that often but then when they need the wash you love putting them back on because then they just <laughs> suck everything back in again and you're maybe squeezing to get into them but once you've got them on you're thinking, damn, these jeans are good. So what else did I get when I was out during the week? I went back to the Ordinary in Fraser's. As I say, I've not really been online and ordered from them because of all the Falderal that happened with our CEO being a bit odd. Um, I picked up another Buffy. I love the Buffy. I've been using it for over a year now and I really like the effects it has. I'm sure I've mentioned in other videos that throughout my teenage years and 20s I never had a spot on my face. I never broke out. It wasn't something that ever happened to me. And in my 30s, this area here, all on my chin, it's just went crazy. It's just went crazy and decided to break out. So I picked up the niacinamide, niacinamide, yes I think that's how you say it, a niacinamide and it is to regulate sebum and minimise your pores. Um, it's the 10% and 1% zinc and all I've been doing is applying that to here since I got it. I've only had it three days now and I can't say Oh, definitely, you know, I haven't broke out yet because it's not something I suffer with every day but especially around about that time of the month I do get quite a lot of spots on my chin or if I'm on night shift for any length of time I find that my skin starts to break out just here. So I'm going to continue to use this in the hope that that stops that happening. I will link all the prices below because I don't remember these kind of things off the top of my head. I also picked up the Matrixel. I'm sure it's Matrixel. And it is the 10% Matrixel and it is for fine lines and wrinkles. Now this is a peptide based one as well, um, so what, you know, the different, like, is there Matrixel in the Buffy? Yes. Is the Buffy slightly more expensive? Yes, I think it's £12. So you wonder, is this doing the whole job anyway? Did I need the Matrixel? But because this is 10% Matrixel, I thought maybe it would be a slightly stronger strength. So what I've been doing is alternating them. 
we were away on holiday last month and if you haven't watched the vlogs please go and check them out at least go and see the one where we were quadding about on the mountains and then down to the sea in Alunda because the views are just spectacular I can't even tell you and honestly like I was making the wee vlog and I just thought oh it's so nice it's something I'll look back on and be like remember we done that that was dead nice <laughs> I happen to have these uh, given to me from a wee set and it is the L'Occitane Cleansing Oil and Gentle Toner and it is from the Shea collection. Um, they obviously do like the Amand, they do the, all, is it the olive one, the one that's kind of more green packet? They have different collections and this one is the Shea collection. These are the two minis, the cleansing oil and the toner. Now the cleansing oil I've not got all the way through, um, I take another cleanser with me on holiday, alternate between them. I uh, use oil when I feel my skin's really dry and really needing it, uh, otherwise I use a kind of gel based cleanser. Um, the toner though however, I really liked and I'm still using my my Pixi Glow Tonic, I'm still using it, I had to look at what bloody hell it's called there. The Pixi Glow Tonic, I'm still using that and it is more of a exfoliating toner because it has the glycolic acid in it, it will strip the skin. But I found because I came back with a bit of a tan, I don't want to lose the colour so much. So I wanted a more gentle toner, especially for at night time. So I went into Lux Tan looking for this gentle toner and when I got there, it was only bloody half price, so I bought two balls. <laughs> um, it did worry me a little bit though, because I thought, well, why is it half price? Is it discontinued? Because there was none left on the shelf, it was all in this like clearance section, and I was thinking, oh, bugger, does that? So that's why I picked up two, because I thought, if they're getting rid of it, then I want to use it. So I got one of them as well, and it was £10.50, usually like £20 odd, so that was not too bad at all. Now for the good stuff. So this is all to do with the Orgasm blush, which I'm sure everybody knows about. It's been about forever and a day. And they've brought out lots of other products to build a collection based around the Orgasm blush. Now I bought the Orgasm blush years ago, but as I have mentioned before, we had our house broke into and it seemed to be anything that had some sort of brand name on it got lifted. So it got took. You'll have seen from the clips all the little items that they had. Now they had a lipstick, they had a lip gloss that was really quite holographic almost. They had a large NARS orgasm blush, the original NARS orgasm blush. They had liquid, two types of liquid orgasm. One in like a tube and one in like a glass bottle. Now unless I'm being really stupid, the glass bottle, it might have been a nail polish, but I thought it was two kind of liquid orgasm blushes. They also had a stick. A highlighter, they also had a powder that was a really fine, like loose powder, but it was very pink. And I thought, well, what are you gonna do? Put that all over your face, it's pink. Uh, I think if you had the correct kind of skin tone for it, it would have been a beautiful highlight and even across the collarbones. But for me, it was so pink that I was like, if I'm dusting that across here, it's gonna be so obvious, I may as well just do that with a blush. It didn't make any sense to me or didn't make any sense for my colour of skin tone. So, I don't know, I don't, I'm not too sure what exactly you would use it for. Some people who were saying to me that they were using it as an eyeshadow as well, so that's an option. But yeah, I just thought, I don't know, it wasn't for me. So there was bits and bobs that just, I thought, I really don't need that, or it's something that I don't understand. Maybe they've just made it to pump out the collection a little bit. So, what I did get was, the original Orgasm blush uh, in this lovely limited edition packaging. And this is the big, the big boy. So it comes in this beautiful packaging. It is, the packaging is very similar to the original, but this is much, much bigger. Look at the size of the mirror on it. Um, this one, I believe is 30 pounds. The original is 20 something. It's the NARS there, and it is just the original orgasm blush. It's meant to look like you've been love flushed. Is that a nice way of saying it? <laughs> I also picked up the orgasm lip balm, which I'm really looking forward to using. Again, in beautiful rose gold packaging. Rose gold packaging. It's funny because when I was in there, that was like the selling point of some of the items. <laughs> That I don't want to sound mean, but for instance, the people who were on the truck, they were like, oh, this one does this, and it's got this gorgeous 
a luminosity to it, it's got this, it's got that, it's got this. But I think when they've made a collection that consists of one colour that's always been there, it must be quite hard to sell that other than the fact that it's orgasm, like everybody knows the orgasm blush. Um, so the guy that was talking to me kept saying, in the rose gold packaging, as if that was like the selling point. I thought, if it's shit, I'm still not gonna buy it. But this wasn't shit and I thought it looked really good, so I thought, oh, I'll pick that up. Similar colour to the orgasm blush, but very sheer and very, very moisturising. But you can see it's still got that iridescence, the golden kind of sheen to it. And this is just the balm, this isn't the lipstick. So it is sheer, but look at that. He's pretty, huh? And then because I bought something off the nurse truck, I got a key to go and try and open a locker to see if I would win essentially the whole collection. When I thought, well, I've got two parts of it. I don't know if I need the whole collection. Anyway, um, went to Fraser's, went to try and open the locker. My key didn't fit the locker, that was fine. So what they done was give you a miniature of a lipstick. It was the Lip Pigments and it is in Star Woman. It's a really deep red colour and it is the essentially the liquid lips that NARS have brought out. Um has a little funny looking doe fit actually. There we go. And it's... I, when I showed this to my other half to be like, look, this is what I got for free. He was like, is that for your nails? Because actually it's quite liquidy, but it's a beautiful colour of red. It couldn't be any more true red. Now, I don't know if it stays shiny like that. I don't know if it dries down matte because I've not actually used it on my lips yet. But a little miniature. I think that's cute. cute. Quite similar to the YSL ones as well. Is it the tattoo lips? Whatever it is they do. I don't mind getting minis of things. I think I spoke about that. Maybe that was a video that I never put up because my laptop got stolen. That MAC had brought out the tiny lipsticks. Um, and I didn't mind buying smaller versions of it because you're never going to use a whole lipstick like certainly not me i'm never going to use a whole lipstick um i don't think i ever have so to me miniature stuff is spot on and i picked up from lottie london an eye foil now i've got the stila eye foils i have the glossy lid star as well and i tried these on the back of my hand in super drugged and i just thought they're gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous and quite inexpensive. Um, I don't know <laughs> when I'm going to use them, but I'll try. So that's it there. It is a little childish, the packaging, I have to say that. It's obviously going for an age group slightly younger than mine, but I loved the colour. I thought the colour was gorgeous. And when I seen it actually on... My God, I thought getting the plastic off was going to be the hard bit. Now there's this bit that I can't get off. So it's this kind of pink iridescent. It is a beautiful, like I can't even, oh, look at that. I actually thought, could I very strategically make that into a highlighter? And I don't even think it does it justice on this camera. Go and check these out, go and see them. There are other colors that are colors I just wouldn't pick up. Um, kind of really iridescent blues and aqua and stuff like that that I just wouldn't touch but this one I think could be used on so many skin tones so many age groups and could look really wild or really subtle it's beautiful absolutely beautiful Anyway, so that is it from me just now. That is all the little bits and bobs I picked up. And that is the end of this weekly vlog. I'm not sure what I'm doing next week. I have to go to the dentist and get a filling. Um, but otherwise, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in the habit of doing a weekly vlog unless I'm doing stuff. And it was just because I knew that I was going to go to Pride and stuff like that this week. So, hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you watch again. Please head over because I'm going to have a kind of favourites. Uh, I will link it up here somewhere. Uh, of the stuff that I have on my face at the moment and what I have been using throughout the summer. Also go and check out my latest holiday vlogs. I love making little holiday vlogs because as I say, it's quite nice for to look back on in years to come and some of my family members as well. I don't have Facebook so I don't really share anything 
holiday wise on there and they quite like going on and having a look and see what we've been up to so go and check that out as well that'd be lovely and i hope to see you again soon bye